Well, good morning, and welcome to another episode of Broken Ranks, where we follow Artarnian around as she, well, looks for things to do in this new world, while her continent is being invaded by Utorians. So, it looks like we need to go back to the inn. I think we've done pretty much most of what we can do around here. I'm not sure. Okay, so that needs level 16, and I'm only 14, so let's go talk to Darko. I'm listening. Hello, Darko. Where can I find Desmond? Hello, Miss Bella. Desmond was here just a moment ago. He went to his house. Thank you. Oh. Welcome to our inn. Would you like something to eat or drink? Sure, pour me some beer. I would, but you wouldn't have time to drink it. Them again? They told me to let you know that something big's coming. Once more into the breach. Bye. So, we could go talk to Desmond. We also need to talk to the guys at the hideout. Because of course we do. But let's go talk to Desmond first and see what he has for me. <clears throat> You're back. Tell me, have you been training? Have you explored the area? Just as you told me to. Great. You're right on time. I need you. Fine, I'm listening. And Miss Bella, you're one of us now. I'll tell you about another part of the plan. The funds we're raising are needed to buy a powerful weapon. Quizra, Tahal's ship, and everything else is working towards this goal. Thanks to all of this, we'll be able to see Tarn again soon. What weapon is that? This information is top secret. Even I don't know that. I see. What's the big plan? We'll go to the ruins beyond the forest to the north. I'm supposed to meet certain people there. Can you tell me who these people are? Arms dealers. We're beginning negotiations. We have to hurry. Okay, so I can either say, all right, let's go, or I can't go anywhere at the moment. All right. Do what you have to do and join me in the ruins as soon as possible. Of course. Alright, so. Let's go ahead to the hideout and see what they want. Hey, freshman, we have a job to do, so I've heard. Ah, finally, I'll beat somebody up, or get beaten by somebody. Hey, Miss Bella, I've played a trick on this moron right next to me. Great, I knew you could do it. Just don't tell him. Don't worry, I won't. Take care. not step into the fire. We've already discovered standing in campfires actually does fire damage. You mentioned something big is coming. I'm ready. What do you want me to do? The governor sent us a message saying he wants to ransom Helena. We need to prepare for the exchange. Go to town and find out who's in charge of the negotiations. You've proven that you're good at sniffing around. Check the town hall first. We'll be waiting for your return. Sure thing. Maybe someone in the storeroom will know something. Oh, and it actually ports me right back outside. I was kind of surprised by that. Alright, 
go to the storehouse. What you wandering here for? Can't you see I'm cleaning? Get off my floor. And calm down, old man. You put two coins in his hand. What's this? What you want here? Do you eavesdrop on local councils? Maybe I do. Why are you asking? I need to know what they're planning concerning Helena. Who's in charge of this? Oh, dear lady. You need to be more generous. I'll need the gold for my funeral and for my kids when I'm gone. Here's 80 more. Now start talking. Freedom's in charge of Helena's kidnapping. He plans to make a deal with the kidnappers, promise them ransom, and then kill them all. They'll plant mines in the cave, because they know where those scum be hiding. I've told you all I know. Kill me if you wish. Just let me take the gold to my kids. Don't worry, Grandpa. I don't mean you harm. You better be careful. You never know with these town hall people. Sure thing. Alright, so we just gave him like 85 gold. Oh, we're fine. We still have almost 10,000. And anything down here? Nope. All right, back up. Go back to Warren Ferguson. <clears throat> now, quests like this would be more impactful if you actually had a a time timer on it, and you had. A certain amount of time to get back to warn said party and if you didn't get back in time well it'd be too late for them he's one of the governor's men you leave He presses his hand to his wounded stomach. Can you see all the bodies? Grotesque, isn't it? Do you want me to finish you off? No, thanks. I'm still thinking about stuff. Okay. The man noticed you as you and Jester for you to approach. Hey, you're Miss Bella? Yes. It was a trap. The governor had no intention of ransoming Helena. This much I know. Where's Helena? Alucard set her free, set her on fire and ran away. Most of our gang were killed. It's over. He set her on fire? Poor girl. Ouch. Oh, another bandit. Come here, scum. There's still fight left in me. You prepare for combat. <laughs> because, of course, he's going to try to fight you. The flames on the charred carps are slowly going up. Damn. I'm going back to Emily. I need a drink.
Well, that was pretty brutal. So that governor really didn't care about his daughter. Where's Emily? <clears throat> Welcome to our inn. Would you like something to eat or drink? I've had a terrible day. I need a drink. I'm afraid it's not over yet. A person from the town hall has been asking about you. As soon as you entered, I think some greedy individuals went to inform them about you. If that's how it is, I'll just spare them the trouble and go to town hall myself. One for the road, please. <laughs> Somebody's over there singing whiskey in the jar. That's funny. He smiles with a mild surprise as you approach. Oh, look who's here. I was just about to go find you. I'm glad you spare me the trouble. I've reached the conclusion that it's no use delaying the inevitable. What do you want from me? My superior will explain. Come with me. You follow him. What are you looking for here? You've summoned me. Hello, Miss Bella. I'm Lord George... Emmerich, Imperial Steward, I make sure the Governor Trentus abides by his oath and upholds the law, order, and honor. However, I've heard unsettling news about the recent happenings, and you seem to be in the center of it all. Tell me what you know. If only, if you only wanted to talk, why did you send your thugs after me? First of all, they're not thugs. They're my men. Second of all, I'm not going to explain myself to anyone except the Emperor. However, I can tell you out of goodwill that I had to make it look like you were being arrested. It's for your own safety. You were very close to events that are a concern to the elites of Trentus. The fact that you're still alive is not really beneficial to you. Seems you know everything. What do you need me for? You chose the other side of the barricade and got close to Helena's kidnappers. I've also heard that you robbed the house of one of the governor's trusted men. While working outside the confines of the law, you had ample opportunity to learn more about governor's dealings. I hope you'll share this knowledge with me. Well, when I was a member of Alucard's gang, I heard some rumors about the governor. I have no evidence, though. Thank you for your honesty. Your attitude is a good omen. Alto has the evidence on him. The governor's men must have retrieved it. I'll look for it myself, but it is likely destroyed already. See you later. Goodbye, then. Hide the documents. I'm listening. Darko, I have another request. I need someone to keep very important documents for me. I cannot count on you. Hmm. Leaving them here is not a good idea. I deal with many shady folk. The documents will not be safe. You better go to Simon. He keeps to himself and doesn't have many guests. 
Nobody's going to look there. Good idea. Thanks, Darko. Before you go, I must warn you. Sarmentines are looking for you. I assume it's because of the documents. If you don't want beef with the Sarmentines, and believe me, you don't. You better not you better not avoid them. I see. As soon as I find a good hiding place for the documents, I'll go to the Sarmentines. It's only a suspicious individual put something in your hand. You look down and see a piece of paper with the words, The Lumberjacks, come alone. The Lumberjacks again? What is it this time? Alright, so... Uh, what kind of political intrigue did we get ourselves into? Good grief. Let's see, go to Simon. This isn't Simon that guy's... No, he's not. Okay. I was going to say, isn't he that guy's... Uh... Oh, this is Simon, the one that always wants us to chase off the mongrels. Uh, hi, Simon. I have incriminating documents. They may get me into trouble. I'll take them. They'll be safe here. Are you sure? Don't worry. Nobody would suspect me. I live on the fringes of society. Come back when you need them. Thank you, Simon. Okay. So, I guess they could search me all they want, but they're not going to find anything. Okay, so where are we headed? Oh, we keep pointing towards the church, but I guess it means outside. Or does it? We're going to find out. Because it did say go to the... No. Oh. It's pointing back towards town. Okay. Go to the Sormatons. Does, uh... Oh, I guess it... <coughs> Have you seen a sheepdog around here? It's small. His name is Bruno. There are some dogs near the town gate. Maybe he ran away there. Thanks for your help. Hello, citizen. You've been looking for me, sir. I'm glad you're here, my friend. My name is David Sarmentine. I take care of the citizen of Trentus and make sure that there is order and prosperity in town. I also ensure that the minds of its administrators are pure and lawful. That's why I need to speak with you. About what? About the ruckus with Helena, Alucar, and Governor Elias Benderald. I'm not sure if I have much to say. You understand, you, you underestimate yourself and the role you played in the recent events. I know about Alto. I know about Alucar's connection to Elias Vandereld, and I know about the documents, but I don't have evidence. The administrators of Trentus are becoming more and more corrupt, making it harder to achieve the Sarmatine's goal, the light of knowledge and prosperity shining over the whole world. I'll think about what you said, Sarmatine. Sooner or later, the governor's men will find you. Only I can protect you from them. Don't think too long. Your life's hanging in the balance. Thank you for your advice. Okay, what did I get myself into? I guess there's only one way to find out. We were told to come up here to the lumberjacks. Good day. 
Okay, so I guess we don't talk to him. We go inside. Hello, delivery girl. Helena? Yes, Miss Bella, I'm still alive. You see, I felt more at home with Alucar than my real home. At last, someone who understands me. We faked my death. Some of our men died, but most of them came out of it alive. Some left with Alucar, and some stayed with me. I decided to take over this area and remind Daddy of my existence. Why did you join Alucar? Alucar treated me like a guest, not a prisoner. We started getting to know each other better. One thing led to another, and we found ourselves in bed together. He appreciated my need for independence and also told me the truth about my father. It wouldn't matter if he paid the ransom or not. I'd still be doing what I'm doing now. I love being a highway woman. Now, the documents. I don't have them on me. You could search me if you want, and besides, I'm not sure if you deserve to get them. And who else does? My corrupt daddy? The power-hungry Sarmentines? The imperial dog Emmerich? They're no better than me. Give me the documents. The longer you keep them, the likelier, likelier you are to lose your head. I'll think about it. Consider your options in the end. So I can give the documents to her. I could give the documents to the Sormatines. I could give the documents to uh, the politician hanging out in... Uh, The town hall. And once again, options. And are any of them better than any of the others? I mean, the last time I chose, I had to make political options, I chose wrongly. <laughs> And ended up with the worst of the options. I want to ask you about some things. Ask away. Who are you? I'm Nor Darko Norrell, a Tamarnian by birth, but with Haligardian citizenship. I left Terran to seek my fortune elsewhere. I traveled for some time and finally ended up in Trentus. I even thought about returning, but then the war broke out, and unfortunately, I knew who would win. It seems it's created a small Terran over here. Ha <laughs> ha. Tell me more about this town. Trentus? It's a stinking cesspool, my girl. Full of swindlers and scumbags. It's not a place for a fine gal from Tarn. But I get it. You two probably didn't want to come here. Trentus is a middle-sized town in Haligard. It's mostly trading with local peasants. Caravans regularly depart from here to other parts of Haligard. I make a small profit off of it as well, ha. Huh? You know, gal, I wish you well, but Haligard is a country of anglers and dodgers, and Trentus is no exception. You need to have your wits about you, even among your fellow Terranians. You should remember that. People quickly turn into pigs when they have to walk in SH every day. Okay, so does he have anything else? I mean, he's pretty much told me what. I expected of this place. Everybody's a little dirty. What's the huge building at the center of town? Is it an arena? My friend, it's our only but truly marvelous entertainment. The arena. Brave youngsters are dueling one another. They are beating each other black and blue to earn some gold. And, by doing that, hone their skills to use them against Utar in the future. Currently, the only warriors there are Terranians. So you should definitely try to take up the challenge. Good luck. So it's probably a PvP arena. Alright. And 
I guess he's not going to help me with this. Okay. What is it? Can you tell me about this place? To be honest, I've been here not much longer than you, and I don't know much more. From what I've gathered, Trentus is an armpit full of thieves and murderers. You can't trust anyone here. Not even our fellow Terranians. You know what I mean? What about the area around Trentus? Is it safe? It depends for whom. They are not the safest place on earth, but we mustn't exaggerate. Nearby, there's a small village with insolent inhabitants, who, which sometimes cause troubles. But you look like a gal who could easily cope with them. The further on the north, the harder it gets. Trentus is a small province. Nobody cares much about it. Halagard takes care only of the central and eastern regions, which are rich in minerals. Trentus is a godforsaken hole, forgotten by all. Tell me more about yourself, please. My name is Varhorn. I'm an ex-general of the Terranian army. I was the commander at Zerdu. You must have heard about this battle. It was the only one that took place on Utorian soil. If only we followed up on it. You can see inconsolable pain on the general's face, but we'll get them eventually. How are you going to get them? You probably haven't heard about this yet, but General Aran, Sepper, and I, the only surviving officers of the Terranian army, are organizing an armed force that will let us retake our motherland. It's not the right time yet, but... What's the plan? Have you seen the arena? It's the big building at the center of town. Until recently, it was a source of aimless entertainment. But now, when mostly Terranians are fighting in it, it nurtures the competitive spirit. Okay. Uh, I need to think. Pour me something stronger. I don't think you'll have time to drink it. Emily points to the guards who approach you. Great. Oh, Miss Bill, you know why you're here, right? To be honest, I have no idea. I don't want to play silly games with you, so let me set this straight. We know you have the documents. You're probably illiterate, so you don't know what they say. They could save your life. It'd be worse if you took a look inside. In that case, we need to implement a different strategy. Okay, so I can either say I gave them to Emmerich. Or I can claim that I don't have them, but I can bring them to you for a price. Well, both of them are a lie, but we'll go with the first lie. Or, yeah. A useful idiot. You'll get your gold as soon as you bring me the documents, as you wish. Get the documents. I'm here for the documents. So is it safe to walk around with them? On the contrary, I need to give them to someone as soon as possible or else my head will roll. I see. Here they are. Thank you for keeping them, Simon. Bye. Alright, who am I giving the documents to? The monks? Who seem to just want order at all cost? The governor's daughter? Or the guards who want to kill me. I might have to think about that one. Hopefully, by next time I'll have decided. And until then, bye for now.